Scorpio. You need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Scorpio, Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Scorpio, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the three of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something is imbalanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. Clarify justice for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Scorpio, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So Scorpio, you can tell me that something was a fair balance or just here. You can tell me that, you know, you're feeling extremely weak because there's been a betrayal that they had a third party, Scorpio. Or Scorpio, are they coming in to right or wrong after betraying you? Wanting to work things out. And either you're resisting or you're mustering the strength and courage to work things out with this person after some type of betrayal. 
Scorpio, oh my God, what in the world? Ten of Swords again. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Oh, child. By the Knight of Cups. Scorpio. By the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Scorpio, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio... There's been a betrayal, clearly. And you may have cut this person off, but they may be coming to apologize, wanting to work things out with you, Scorpio. And you're all up in your head about it. I was laughing because I'm like, how can you hurt, Scorpio? And live to tell the tale, child. Scorpio You have the nine of pentacles Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone I alone in my own right am abundant Self-sufficient, independent, and single I'm single So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own Or you're single Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio, clarify the nine of pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the nine of pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently. Confidently confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. And this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. <laughs> so Scorpio could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Scorpio. Clarify the chariot. For Scorpio, clarify the chariot. For Scorpio, 
It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, Scorpio, you know, you can tell me, hey, I'm cool by myself. I'm good by myself. I'm this Empress energy. Like I'm just going to move forward. It's their loss. They didn't know what they had. That's on them. And maybe you just wanted to take a break from this person or you're trying to recover from being stabbed in the back here. Scorpio. Hmm. Scorpio, you could also tell me that you're meditating on whether or not you want to be single or nurture this relationship with this person further going forward. Scorpio, you have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. And this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Four of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Four of Pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. <laughs> Scorpio, listen. Oh my gosh. Like, they hurt you, okay? Double up on hurting you, Scorpio. And there's an apology. And the scene that is coming to my mind, <laughs> the scene that's coming to my mind is, I don't know if you guys saw the video on YouTube with Eartha Kid, right? And um, I guess the camera crew asked her about compromise. <laughs> compromise? I should compromise because I'm in love. I should compromise. And she just laughed, this laugh. The whole statement just is screaming over this. Compromise? Me compromise? To love someone? I want to love on myself. And I want someone else to come in and love on me with me. I don't have to compromise. What is that? What is compromise? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. You fool. Ha ha ha. Compromise for love. Go watch that video. Earth the Kid speaking on love and compromise. OMG. This is it. This is why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, compromise. Compromise. Because they love you. <laughs> anyway, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're looking at your coins here, Scorpio, or you're telling me that you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. So this apology is coming in and you're like waiting and just kind of closed off. You can tell me that you're closed off while you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship after this betrayal, just because this cup is coming in here. Are you going to compromise? Scorpio, you have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Destiny. So Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're following your destiny. Um, 
you're getting your wish. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're stuck on whether or not you want to heal things, mend things, work things out with this person. Or Scorpio, you're telling me that you're blocking them and you're healing. I just see two places you're thinking about it, though. I feel like this could have been a done deal, but there's an apology and it has you thinking about it. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Scorpio. Now, this is just additional messages here. Compromise. What is that? I have to compromise because someone loves me? I have to compromise because someone loves me? Ha, 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 ha. Fool. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Compromise, negotiator, bargaining, and begging. <laughs> negotiator, bargaining, and begging. Compromise. What? Is negotiating compromising? If you're negotiating something with someone, are you compromising? Fool. <laughs> what else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? I want to love me. And I want you to come and be with me to love on me and watch me while I love on me. I don't compromise. Karmic third party relationship lesson. Karmic third party relationship lesson. Go watch Eartha Kit on love and compromise. This is this read right here. Compromise. Because someone loves me? <laughs> you fool. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at her immortal maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.